Hi, my name is Ryan Rex. I'm a fourth generation plumber and HVAC contractor. My team and I are on a mission to bring green building to the doorstep of everyday America, where we take a look at the innovations people are using to make their lives more efficient. Our main objective, getting our clients a return on their investment. In a time where home equity is a distant memory, homeowners are looking for new ways to build while saving money. That's where we come in. Studies have shown that doing home improvements using energy reducing technologies will not only boost your happiness, it can also provide a new type of investment. We search the nation for clients who want to make a big difference, not just in their lives, also in their bank accounts. Journey with us and see the benefits of home energy renovations with Eco Property, doing well by building green. Meet Sydney. He's a former scientist who also has a passion for the environment. In 2008, Sydney was in the market for a new home, ideally one that he could make into a carbon neutral property. I didn't set out specifically to find a house that was going to be uh, in a carbon zero. I didn't think that was going to be possible. Sydney's search ended in Wincote, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia, where he found a 2,900 square foot colonial style home. When I saw this house, with its greenhouse on the back, it's gorgeous inside, beautiful lights. Sydney saw the potential and moved in soon after. During the first year, Sydney had dreams of making the house a net zero property, but he couldn't figure out how. That all changed at a block party when he met his next door neighbor who also happens to be an architect and a builder. The project's initial goal was to meet energy neutral, carbon neutral, or very low energy consumption requirements. The greatest obstacle that we really had to overcome was the fact that we were dealing with an existing old structure. The existing house was poorly constructed, but John knew that re-insulating was the place to start. Improving the insulation is a necessity for any home renovation. But John realized that packaging multiple technologies together with a sustainable building design was the best way to get Sydney a return on his investment. That's when he brought in energy consultant Michael Seabright to help with the Carbon Zero design. These buildings are really living machines. They're, they're harnessing the energy from the environment. They're storing the energy. They're very effectively using that energy and they really are active. And the clients living in the buildings are active and the building is able to give them um, a lot of different comforts that a lot of other buildings aren't going to be able to predict. Homeowners are finding out the cost for energy renovations isn't much higher than traditional style projects. Like you did pay for technology, you know, but that technology then will return its investment to you. Sydney realized the big potential for payback early on, and when he first walked into the house, he knew it was the one. I realized what I could do with it, and that's what led me to buy it. Opening up the floor plan would prove to be a major improvement for the layout. As part of the uh, idea of making the house work better, we had to open it up to create as much air circulation as possible. We had to also fulfill the design expectations that the client had with regards to capturing and utilizing natural daylight and daylight harvesting. The entire south side of the house was converted from a dilapidated greenhouse to a more inviting design using efficient windows to bring in natural light. In addition, the windows, apart from being standard, are double pane, argon filled, um, low E glass, also have a, a ceramic coating on them, which serves to raise the R value substantially. We originally designed the windows to collect sunlight, the heat from the sun. Um, but then through one of our pro partners um, with Proesco and Henry DuPont and their company in Delaware, they have this new film that we brought in to the product. To assist with the window design, Michael brought in his associate, Henry DuPont, for a new approach. In the energy conservation measures that ProESCO typically works with, their nanoceramic window film is a terrific technology. Uh, it's a new uh, technology coming to market which uh, provides huge substantial savings for uh, uh, thermal gain of buildings. So when you're standing in front of a window, you don't feel the heat from the sun, which would be heating up the interior of the building, or the infrared and ultraviolet lights that would uh, degrade furniture and carpets and things like that. It's 99% rejection of that um, wavelength of light. The solar tubes helped brighten up parts of the house that wouldn't normally get natural light. 
What you see on the roof is the external light collector for the solar tubes. As you can see, it's simply a lens that collects the sun's rays and funnels it down through a reflective aluminum tube. They are very effective means of bringing good light into a dark area. Packaging a passive solar design, the installation of LED bulbs, and Energy Star appliances will help maximize savings. Combine that with an on-site power source and your house can produce more power than it uses. I actually am what's called a micro generator. I pull my electricity off the grid from Pico just as everybody else in the area does. And I have a meter that meters the amount of usage I have, as everyone does. What I have in addition to that though is a meter that, that me measures the outgoing electricity into the grid. A Sunny Boy metering system was installed to feed excess electricity generated by the solar panels back into the grid. So throughout the summer months, since the system was commissioned uh, in the middle of June, I, I was generating more than enough electricity to power the entire heating and cooling system, plus the lighting uh, and any other electricity I was using. Changing out the HVAC unit was a must. John's team installed a water furnace geothermal system to enhance air quality and comfort. When Sydney bought the house, it came with an in-ground pool needing routine maintenance. The impervious paving covered the entire backyard and the pumps were a terrible waste of energy. Sydney decided to rip up the pool and use the hole for the geothermal loops. He has a the superheater on the side which allows us to heat our preheat our hot water. The geothermal design maintains a flat, constant space temperature. The open floor plan helps the unit operate at full capacity. As part of the geothermal heating and cooling system that we installed, the house has four zones independently controllable based on dampers in the, in the basement. His house is 2,900 square feet and it's broken up into four different compartments. Um, and that allows Sydney to use his energy very specifically in one location of a house when he's using it. But when he's not, he's able to turn off the other systems and zones in the house um, to really just isolate his energy consumption. By zoning your house, you effectively reduce consumption, but the quality of your air is what matters most. Adding fresh air can greatly improve living conditions of any home. Because the house has been tightly sealed, there's heavy insulation throughout, and all the areas where air can infiltrate have been, have been closed off, it makes the house airtight and obviously you need to have a certain amount of fresh air. Having tight construction is ideal, but a house still needs to breathe. John's team installed an ERV to mechanically add tempered fresh air. With construction complete, John and Sydney began thinking about the next step of the project. The design methodology that we chose for Sydney's house initially was to achieve energy neutrality or as close to energy neutrality and carbon neutrality as possible. In the end, because the design decisions and the technology that we brought into the project, along with good building practices that contribute or take advantage of or adhere to the requirements that Lead for Homes and the USGBC um, outline, we are also able to get to what we believe will ultimately be a lead platinum status for uh, existing home addition and renovation projects. To help explain the benefits of lead building standards, we consulted with real estate agent Sherry Reisner. To the extent that something could, could get one of the lead certifications or an NAHB certification, it, 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 there's a much broader spectrum of things that they take, that they factor in, including, um, water saving, you're using local, hopefully drought tolerant plants that you don't need to water. Um, like this home, they have a, a lo lovely um, wildflowers that, that instead of, you know, you could have a little meadow instead of, uh, or a rain garden instead of having to mow. Lead standards also require the reduction of fossil fuels. John's team found a nice way to cut back on emissions and landscaping. They hired architect Michael Malafi to redesign the yard. As far as landscaping, what we had to incorporate, um, the idea was to keep um, in mind with the green design of the house. So translating to landscape, what that means is 
native drought tolerant species very low or as close to no maintenance as possible. Sydney's job requires frequent travel and with carbon neutrality as the main focus, location was a big deal. Finding a house within walking distance to a train station was a major selling point. This home is very close to the a SEPTA train station that can get you into the center city to minimize your, your carbon footprint, your water footprint. Um, and so the overall sustainability factor and the overall impact and um, reduction of resources is, is uh, much smaller. The application of these practices are more than just bragging rights. They're noticeable differences that improve living conditions every day. There's an interesting data that comes back from, from people who've done even just basic insula added insulation into their homes and air sealing that the, there's more comfort. When it comes to home renovations, savings, health, and comfort are the main reasons people go green. So if you've lived in the house before and you remember what it is in certain seasons, that's, that's where you'd really notice the difference. It's a very highly functional house because it, every part of it functions together with everything else. That's the other beauty of it, that the passive solar connector brings in light. The solar teams minimize the need for electricity use in the daytime for lighting. The location, it, everything about it sort of works to make it as efficient as it could possibly be. Our approach made this project more successful because we're, we're very open to collaborating with our clients. And in this particular project and this particular client, he had purchased this house for a specific reason. The cost weren't a whole lot greater than it would have been to renovate the whole house anyway. Within a 10 year time frame, I should be well ahead of the money that I, uh, that I invested. I do not consider it money spent. I consider it money invested at a time when invest, there's nothing to invest in. We have plenty of credits and availabilities, incentives in the marketplace that allow for somebody to invest that kind of money into their house. Um, and as long as they can, they can afford it up front, it's not a whole lot more, really. Sydney's project was a huge success. Meeting Sydney today and seeing how he transformed his property shows that big thinking starts with a simple idea. Join us next time when we tackle another energy guzzling home and turn it into a sustainable paradise. My name's Ryan Rex and thank you for watching Eco Property. Doing well by building green.